So since I've been taking a break for a little while, there haven't been any videos being made. So I figured I would do another one of these Q&A videos for you guys. That way y'all would have some actual content from me. But I do promise to everybody the next Working Man episode will come out eventually. I just haven't had the drive or the inspiration to make videos recently and it's been really fucking me up. But if you guys could just be patient with me just for a little longer, I promise I'll have something for you guys. But in the meantime, here's some more questions from you guys. If you guys want to send me a question, go to tellinm.me slash Stuart K. Riley in the link below. So let's start the questions. What's the rarest game you have from your collection? I don't really have as many rare games as I used to. I sold most of them years ago, but I've been trying to build up another collection. The most valuable game I have is Metal Gear Solid on the Game Boy Color, also known as Metal Gear Ghost Babble. I bought it off my cousin for 20 bucks and it goes for like 150 bucks on eBay loose. For Christmas last year, I got a physical copy of Jazz Jackrabbit 2 and a strategy guide. I'm a huge fan of jazz, so I'm really proud of that. You a good friend, well you a good at English. Favorite Jurassic Park game if you've played any. Jurassic Park doesn't have a real good reputation of good video games, but if I had to pick one, I'd say the Super Nintendo one. As far as ocean games go, it's not bad. I just wish it had a save feature. If it had a save feature, it would actually be pretty decent. Though I guess we have save states now, so what am I complaining about? What is your favorite Muse songs? Who the hell is Muse? You know what? Let's go look that up. Okay, I just looked it up. Yeah, that's definitely not the kind of music I listen to. I'm a boomer rocker, man. I want some old dad rock. I made an entire episode about Ted Nugent for fuck's sake. Are you okay? I ask myself that every moment of every day. What animal you turning intro? I don't know if I intro very much, but I'm a coyote in case you want to know. Are you furry? I think I just answered that. Can you come back to YTP News? No! What are you really in the mood for right now? Not for your shit, I can tell you that right now. Jokes aside, I really want to play games that I've got in my backlog. That's really what I'm in the mood for right now. I've been playing a lot of Yakuza Like a Dragon and it's been great man. Hey Stu, I read some of your Twitter posts and I heard you've been going through some things. I just want you to know that God is with you and whenever you're feeling down or unsure about things, you can look to him for answers or just comfort. Oh, God bless. God bless you, my child. Oh, Jesus. I used to get these all the time back in the YTP days. People asking me to shout out their channel or check them out or some shit. Well, let's have a look. Among Us Funny Moments? Let's fucking go! SpongeBob plus Jerry character combination? Okay, let's see this. <laughs> that is fucking cursed! Oh my god! Phantom Games, you're amazing! Everybody go sub to this man right now! What's your favorite cartoon? Okay, that one's easy. It's Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes is the cartoon standard on which all other cartoons are ranked. Wile E. Coyote's my favorite one, and he's the reason I'm a coyote. Do you like SpongeBob? I didn't grow up with SpongeBob. That was like the generation after me. I tried to watch a couple episodes of it, and it just wasn't my type of humor. It didn't click with me at all. But to hear people talk about it, it's like they think it's the second coming of Jesus. So I'm an old man. What do I know? Can you talk about SpongeBob games? No! Have you heard of Fish Titan 64? Yeah, I have. I used to watch him. Wasn't he the guy that made the video that was supposed to be a face reveal, but it turned out that was his dad? I remember something like that. Is there something you aren't in the mood for at all right now? Your shit! What are some of your favorite furry movies? The Bad Guys is a good one, yeah. I love Cats Don't Dance. It makes me so mad that that movie bombed so bad. All Dogs Go to Heaven was good, but admittedly, I don't remember very much about it. Maybe I need to watch it again. The last Don Bluth movie I watched was Rockadoodle, and shoot me, I like Rockadoodle. Oddly enough, Zootopia didn't have much of an impact on me. It was good. I don't think it was some pinnacle of cinema that needs to be archived in the Library of Congress or some shit. That honor goes to Fritz the Cat. I'm joking. What do you think are the disadvantages of being famous? I don't know. I've never been famous before. There's famous and then there's having a cult following. I have a small cult following. People want a game reviewer who's not a fucking sellout. Somebody who has their own outlook on what video games are instead of just mirroring what they heard on the internet. What's the most redneck ass thing you've done this week? You know, I don't know. I haven't been real rednecky as of late. You reminded me to do something redneck sometime this week. Either work on my truck or clean my guns. 
Oh, speaking of which, how many guns do you own? Let me just say this. It's so many that if I told you how many, I might get put on a watch list. As far as which one's my favorite, probably my Beretta 92, because that's the one I pull out and aim at stuff the most. And yes, I do take the ammo out before I start aiming at shit. Thank you very much. What song did you have stuck in your head last? Okay, that would be Ain't No Way Out of Here by Wasp. The founder of Wasp, Blackie Lawless, made this album after he had lost his mother and got divorced. So he was in a really dark place mentally. So this album, Still Not Black Enough, had a whole bunch of songs that were really good and had some really dark lyrics. So if you want to hear what emo lyrics sound like in a hair metal band, this is the album for you. What's love really feel like? Okay, have you ever taken Xanax before? Just one pinch of that, like breaking it apart into little pieces and getting like a quarter of a tablet. One little piece of that will take you into this bliss world. Basically, what love really feels like is when you're high. You forget about all the shit happening to you in the world, and the only thing you care about is your waifu or husbando. Last one for the day. Do you have advice for when two boys want me, but I really like both? See if they'll agree to a poly relationship. They don't have to meet each other or anything. Just say, hey, I like you, but I like this other person too. I want to hang out with them too. If they say no, dump the one you like the least. Ain't that some great fucking advice or what? Well, boys and girls that's gonna do it for me for now the next time y'all see a video from me hopefully it will be an episode so hang tight hang in there i know you can do it i'll come out with a video eventually if you just wait till i see you again this is Stuart k riley see y'all